The Sunoco Bush Grand National Series now makes its stop at event number 13, its last event before we go to the Bush All-Stars. While the Cup guys are not claiming points now because they got the Winston, the Sunoco Bush guys got one more event. And girls, excuse me. And it's going to happen right here at Nazareth. In Pennsylvania, it is for the Sunoco 200. And on the pole will be Juliet Leonard in the number 84. And the outside will be Celiar Brewer, our winner at Martinsville. Row number two will have our Darlington winner, Jordan Hetzer, and Courtney Winterbauer in the 40. Row number three will be Tim Freilich, our most recent winner at Richmond. And on the outside will be Mike Dibby. Row number four will be Grace Friedman and Emily Johnson. Emily was our South Boston winner. Row number five. Four will be Kelsey McEwen, our points leader, in the number 38, who qualify in the poll at Automobile Club of Southern California, 300. And on the outside will be Ken Johnson in the 01. Row number six will be Christina Cowan, our winner at Texas and Nashville, our only repeat winner, and Jason Wong in the 72 Olds. Row number seven will be Dougie Shears, our South Boston Bowl sitter, and Christian Brown in the 87. Row number eight will be Jeremy Doobie, the pole sitter at Texas. And the outside will be Keith Batson, the 52. So it'll be stepson and father in that pairing. Then in row number nine will be Grace Gunnan, the 0 2. And Gerald Dickmatt, the winner at Talladega. Row number 10 will be Adam Fiegel in the 43. And Darnell Jones in the 41. Row 11 will be Nick Knotts in the 29. And Matthew Rodriguez in the the 14. Row number 12 will be Alexander Wilson Leach in the 47 and Jack Richards in the 27. Dunn Lapred, the winner at Las Vegas, and Andre Castro will make row number 13. Adam Chambers and Ed Gardner will make row number 14. Zed Weinstein and Jacob Rodriguez, the pole sitter at Talladega, will make row 15. Row 16 will be Lena Savage. And Hayden Klein. Row 17 will be Trey Roberts and Faith Jack and Faith Johnson. Row number 18 will be Charles Jackson and Matt Richards. Matt was the winner at Bristol. Row number nine will be Ralph Green and Gabriella Bryan, the Daytona pole sitter. Row number 20 will be Casey Hutchinson and Tim Gardner. Tim was the winner at Rockingham and rounding out the field in row number 21 will be Diana Panic, our most recent winner, excuse me, the winner in California, and Ann Batson, the winner at Daytona. So it'll be 20 laps around the less than a, the one mile sh short track right here, historical Nazareth Speedway. And we're going to go green flag racing right here, right now. Who will get the last spot in the, win in the Bush All-Stars? We'll find out. Green flag and we are racing. Juliet Leonard early lead. As they head into turn number. Oops. They're bumping and grinding on the walls there. And the field starts to separate with Juliet Leonard and the number. 40, uh, 61 of Jordan Hetzer separating themselves from the field with that. Then you'll go to third. Here's Courtney Winterbauer, Celia Brewer, winner at Rocking, excuse me, our winner at Martinsville. Here's Tim Freilich, our most recent winner, getting on the inside is the number 77 of So far, so good. This is one of those tracks where you have the funky camera angles. Points leader we saw there. One of the more wackier tracks for the Bush cars. There's a lot of bumping on the wall, including Jacob Rodriguez. I saw him slap the wall hard. Riding the wall. A lot of these guys are just riding that wall. This is... This is just as tricky as Darlington, let's just be honest. This is one of the trickier tracks here. So far, everything's going smoothly. There's certain spots where you got to be extra careful. 
trying to catch up. Look at them. They're all slapping the wall hard. Not being able to figure everything out, but so far so good. Including the number 49 there of Matt Richards. They're still slapping walls there. Juliet Leonard distancing himself from the field, including Jordan Hatzer following suit. You look at the distance between the two. Jordan Hatzer and Juliet Leonard, and there's your third place. Or excuse me, the third place driver, and that is Courtney Winterbauer. Celia Brewer. The distance has been ridiculous. It's like you don't want to be slapping the wall if you're some of these drivers. The only cool thing you get to see everything going on with the shots that you have. Several car length distance between each driver. And currently, Juliet Leonard leads the field lap number 7 of 20. There's Jordan Hetzer, our previous winner. Now if Jordan wins, we'll obviously make the difference in who's going to get the next spot. So, right now, Juliet would like to get the qualifying spot into the Bush All-Stars. There's our number two. Number three is Cel Courtney Winterbauer, Celia Brewer, Tim Fralick, Grace, G Grace Friedman, Paige Johnson, Emily Johnson, and there's Mike Doobie. Our points leader, Kel Kelsey McEwen, Jason Wong, Jeremy Doobie, chased by Christina Cowan. Then there's Ken Johnson, Grace Gunnan, Dougie Shears, Dougie Shears, there's Christian Brannan, Keith Batson, Adam Fiegel, Gerald Dickmatt, Alexander Wilson Leach, Matthew Rodriguez, Dunn Laprad, Nick Knotts, Andre Johnson, Andre Castro, Darnell Jones, and Ed. Gardner. Then you have, following them, Jack Richards, Zed Weinstein, Hayden Klein, Adam Chambers, Jacob Rodriguez, Faith Johnson, Trey R Roberts, Lena Savage, Matt Richards, Charles Jackson, oops, I think yep, we have Ralph Green, Diana Panic, Tim Gardner, Casey Hutchinson and Batson. Casey Hutchinson. Okay. Then we have actually Gabrielle Bryant and Ann Batson. And now the field's actually getting into lap traffic right now because here comes Juliet Leonard. And we're at lap number 12 of 20. We got nine laps to go for, for Juliet Leonard. There's Ann Batson, and ironically, there's Juliet Leonard. Field starting to spread itself out. So far, nothing has changed. We saw a lot of bumping and grinding earlier, basically separating the field at the spot. Eight laps to go for Juliet Leonard. The interesting thing is the big question if can the lap field actually make a difference. As you can see, there comes, there's Ann Batson, and she's actually, the field getting ready to be lapped by Juliet Leonard, who's been just clearly on a consistency level unprecedented. Seven to go. Seven to go, and the distance is getting closer between the lapped field, the field, and the leader, as Ann Batson and Gabrielle O'Brien right there. Six to go. 
It was a lot of bump in the wall, but that actually hasn't played too much of a factor. Five to go for Juliet Leonard. Basically a wire-to-wire -wire job going on to Juliet, which will get her to spot in the Bush All-Stars that stands right now. It looks like the field has actually widened its gap from our leader. Four to go for Juliet Leonard. the field hasn't really changed. There hasn't been much passing or major moves from the top five. We had our stuff earlier with tagging the wall and getting used to the track, but it seems like that has been done away with. Three to go for Juliet Leonard and the number 80 Jimmy Horton Ford from 1992. Those who don't know, Jimmy Horton was the a former dirt modified, a current a dirt modified racing legend from the state of New Jersey, who used to race at many tracks, including Orange County Fair Speedway. I've seen him race many a times when I would go to the Five Eighth Mile Hard Clay back in the day. This time by, it'll be the white flag for Juliet Leonard. One more lap to go to finish the wire-to-wire -wire job for Juliet Leonard. And just dominant here today. Dominating here this weekend. Checkered flag getting set to fly for Juliet Leonard as she will win the Sunoco 200 and will get the last real spot, winning spot for the Bush All-Star. Second spot will go to Jordan Hetzer. Third spot will go to Courtney Winterbauer. Fourth spot will go to Celia Brewer, Tim Fralick, Grace Friedman, Emily Johnson, Mike Duby, Kelsey McEwen. Jason Wong, Jeremy Doobie, Christina Cowan, Ken Johnson, Grace Gunnan, Dougie Shears, Christian Brandon, Keith Batson, Adam Fiegel, Gerald Ickmat, Alexander Wilson Leach, Matthew Rodriguez, Dunn Laprad, Nick Knotts, Andre Castro, Darnell Jones, Ed Gardner, Jack Richards, Zed Weinstein, and Hayden Klein, Adam Chambers, Jacob Rodriguez, Faith Johnson, Trey Roberts, Lena Savage, Matt Richards, Charles Jackson, Ralph Green, Diana Panic, Tim Gardner, Casey Hutchinson, Gabriella Bryan, and Ann Batson will finish dead last. Basically a wire-to-wire -wire job for the number 80 Ford of Juliet Leonard. Congratulations. And she'll get the spot in the Bush All-Stars. And that will lead us to our points situation. Going into, actually, we have the Car Quest Auto Parts 300, but we got the Bush All-Stars before that. Looking at the points, Kelsey McEwen is your points leader. Christina Cowan, second. Keith Batson, third. Nick Knotts, fourth. Ralph Green, fifth. Tim Fralick is sixth. Jordan Hetzer, seventh. Juliet Leonard is eighth. Dougie Shears is ninth. Courtney Winterbauer, tenth. Mike Duby, Hayden Klein, Emily Johnson, Gerald Ickmat, Faith Johnson, Ed Garner, Grace Gunnan, Adam Fiegel, Gabriella Bryan, Christian Brennan in your top 20s. Then it's Darnell Jones, Alexander Wilson Leach, Jason Wong, Trey Roberts, Tim Gardner, Lena Savage, Zed Weinstein, Ken Johnson, Celia Brewer, Andre Castro, Charles Jackson, Jacob Rodriguez, Matt Richards, Diana Panic, Jack Richards, Matthew Rodriguez, Grace Friedman, Don Lapred, Casey Hutchinson, Adam Chambers, Jeremy Duby, and Ann Batson, our Daytona winner, actually dead last. But we know now for the Bush All-Stars that will actually be coming up 
but we'll have the Winston first, then we're going to do the Bush All-Stars. But here's our qualifiers for the Bush All-Stars. Ann Batson was our Daytona winner. Tim Gardner was our Rockingham winner. Dunn Laprad was our Las Vegas winner. Emily Johnson was our South Boston winner. Jordan Hetzer was our Darlington winner. Matt Richards was our Bristol winner. <clears throat> Christina Cowan was our Texas winner. Gerald Ickmat was our Talladega winner. Christina Cowan won at Nashville, but because she's already qualified, Lena Savage gets in for being the second place finisher. So we're guaranteed that spot to her. Celia Brewer was our Martinsville winner. Diana Panic was our California winner. Tim Fralick was our Richmond winner. And Juliet Leonard will be our Nazareth winner. And our, for our non-points, the non-winner highest points, it'll obviously go to the points leader, Kelsey McEwen. Just like with the Winston, it goes to Alex Filter. Here, it'll go to Kelsey McEwen as he has not won. So he will get that last spot. And there will be another... <clears throat> excuse me. There will be... Still the bush will open that will determine the remaining two. So there'll be a 16 car field to do battle. So that'll be what's going on next. We'll have the Winston before that will be the Winston open, then the Winston, and then we'll have the bush open, the bush all stars. And then we will have right after that, the car quest auto parts 300 at all of which at Charlotte coming up. <laughs> 